I'm Mike Tyson. This is my partner Tony Schmidt. <coughs> We're here to talk to you today about the Filet Maker, brand new fish cleaning board on the product on the market. Um, basically, we came up with the idea actually fishing on Lake Oseka, catching lots of fish. All the all the mess designed with cleaning fish. We were basically got tired of that and basically designed this board. And Tony will show you some of the features of the board. Yeah, Mike came to me about, uh, I think it was in June or July of last year, and, and he asked me, he said, Tony, he said, where do you clean your fish? And I told him I, I clean my fish on my kitchen counter with newspaper and cardboard. And uh, Mike said, well, he said, why don't we come up with a different different, a different concept for cleaning fish instead of the slime and, and uh, uh, things that are associated with, with cleaning fish with the newspaper and stuff. And, and so Mike and I kind of talked about, you know, what would make a good cleaning board for cleaning fish and this is what we came up with it's it's a uh, it's portable which is nice it's, it's lightweight it weighs between uh, five and six pounds and if you look at the at the product there's there's several different features on it and and each of the features are a benefit for when you're cleaning fish one of the features is the raised surface area here if you look at it this it's about an inch and a half up uh, from the from the bottom here and that's so that when you're cleaning fish you can take your fillet knife and you get nice clean cuts to the fillet and a lot of times when you're doing a lot of fish a lot of sunnies or crappies you're going to end up with a lot of slime on this on this surface area here what you can do then is take your fillet knife and just take it like this and, and scoop the slime into the channels and that'll keep your surface area here nice and nice and clean so that when you're cleaning fish. There's a huge pocket on the back here that's designed to keep your fish carcasses. So when you get done, you're gonna have your fish carcasses here. You're gonna have all the slime and so forth in here. You're gonna have your fillets sitting on top. When you're done, take the fillets, put them along the side and basically empty it out into a garbage can. But there's also several other uses for it and like I say, when you look at the design here of these grooves, they're deeper here on the ends and shallow here and deeper so that when you're cutting anything, watermelon or, or fruits, all the juice of the stuff will stay in these channels here. There's several uses for it besides cleaning fish. And I think Mike will talk about that a little bit. It's not just for cleaning fish. Uh, cutting up venison, cutting up roast, anything like that will work perfect on the board. Um, my wife came up with a taco bar. On the opposite side here you'll see this channel here. One night I came home she had all taco, hard shell tacos lined up along the outside, had all the fixings in the middle, came in, she grabbed the outside of the board, brought it all in, put it on the table, and we ate no problem. Uh, Thanksgiving, you're deep frying turkeys. I love to deep fry turkeys. I found out the board works perfect for that. Uh, you take your deep fried turkey out, let it cool just a little bit, lay it in the channel here. I had a 20 pounder in there this last Thanksgiving. Lay it in there, let it cool for 20 minutes, brought the whole thing in the house, cut the whole thing up, worked perfect. These grooves actually worked in reverse. The grease came out perfect, stayed away from the meat. I cut everything all up, put the meat off in a roaster, had all my mess in the bag, did the garbage bag trick, slid it over the edge, hooked it, dumped it, wiped it off, perfect. One nice thing about this too is if you look at it, there's, uh, there's basically no moving parts to it. And, and that's when Mike and I were looking at the different designs and stuff, you know, you think about what you can have and what you should have and what you shouldn't have. And and the least things that you can have as far as moving is, is Mike and I thought would be better because nothing can break on it. Uh, you take a lot of different boards out there right now and, and there's certain things that can go wrong with those boards. The legs could break or the faucets could break and so forth. But this here, there's no moving parts. You buy it and, and basically it'll last a lifetime. And it's made right here in, in the United States. One nice thing too, uh, uh, the Team Otter guys at Rhino Molding in Maple Lake make it for us and, and after Mike and I came up with the design, we took the, 
the design to Rhino Molding or Team Otter, and they took the uh, the uh, uh, design and implemented it to their computer, made a mold for us, and and their finished product was this. This was the finished product, and and we couldn't be more pleased how it turned out. One thing I know that sitting in that meeting when they brought us the prototypes of the product they brought in two one for Tony and one for myself we both looked at each other and said it's perfect and they said well don't we have to change anything and no. we knew it was what we wanted yeah. and, and one nice thing too uh, well one one of the guys said well there's one thing that you missed on here you should have put a beer holder here but but we didn't <laughs> but anyway uh, uh, we're very proud of this product uh, We've been in business since June of, of this past year and we've got probably about uh, 2,000 boards out there. And if you'd like to have more information, you can visit our website and that's www.filetmaker.com or visit us on our Facebook.